Hello everyone, welcome to the 16th video of this lecture series and in this video we will learn about thermodynamic potentials. We will learn about thermodynamic potentials and this will help us to derive Maxwell equations and TDS equations. So those things we will look in later videos. So, what are thermodynamic potentials? They are internal energy denoted by U, which we have already looked on. Another thermodynamic potential is the remote free energy or free energy which is given by F enthalpy is another one denoted by H and we have gives free energy also all of these thermodynamic potentials they can be written in perfect differential forms like for example in the first law of thermodynamics we know that Ds is equal to du minus sub du plus pdv so we can write du as tds minus pdv where du is the change in internal energy so these things we have already looked upon so this is the differential form of internal energy and from this equation we can derive two quantities one is the temperature which can be derived as del u del s at constant volume and another is the pressure which can be derived as minus of del u del v at constant temperature these two are obtained from the differential form of internal energy so like we did these things for internal energy in this video we will also learn how to write the other thermodynamic potentials free energy enthalpy and Gibbs free energy in their differential forms and we will look in at the thermodynamic variables that we can obtain from those equations so in this video, we'll only learn about these things, and in the next video, we'll learn about how to derive the Maxwell's equations. And in the next to next video, we'll learn about TDS equations. So, in these three videos, we are not gonna solve any problems because we will hardly find any problems that are coming specifically from these topics in the exams, but knowing them will help you to solve other problems. So that's why I decided to cover these topics and this will also complete our syllabus for thermodynamic part and and then we'll learn about the basics of statistical mechanics okay so let us start with Helmholtz free energy
this is denoted by the symbol f which is given by u minus ts where u is the internal energy so from internal energy we can calculate the helmholtz free energy so we have u minus ts now we want to obtain the differential form of f so this term is also known by free energy only so we are going to see how we can obtain the differential form of this so df will be given by du minus d of ts which will be equal to du minus tds minus stt and from the first law of thermodynamics or from the differential form of internal energy we can write that du is equal to tds minus pdv so if you write that here minus SDT, we will find out that the TDS and TDS term will get cancelled out and DF will be equal to minus PDV minus SDT. So, this is the differential form of free energy and this has dv and dt term so v and t which is the volume and temperature of the system are independent variables in this case so dv and dt so i forgot to mention that for internal energy the s and v which is entropy and volume are independent variables independent variables so what can we obtain from this differential form we can see that we can obtain the pressure and the entropy so pressure will be obtained as p equal to minus del f del v at constant temperature and entropy will be obtained as minus del f del t at constant volume so from free energy we can obtain the pressure and entropy of the system as a derivative of free energy with respect to volume and with respect to temperature respectively so these are the thermodynamic variables that we can obtain from f so now we have covered internal energy and helmholtz free energy or free energy so next we are gonna look into the enthalpy 
which is denoted by h and this is given by h equal to u plus pv you might wonder how these forms are getting derived or from where i am writing these forms these are actually coming from legendary transformation which we will discuss in a later video so for now just remember these forms and that will be enough to do problems but to get a complete idea you also need to learn of legendary transformations anyway so here also we are going to look into the differential form of enthalpy and thermodynamic variables obtainable from enthalpy so first we'll do the differential form we can see that dh is equal to du plus d of pv this will be equal to du plus pdv plus vdp and again we can use the differential form of du which is du equal to dds minus pdp and that will give us dh equal to dds minus pdv plus pdv plus vdp and like earlier cases also here one term will cancel out here pdv will get cancelled out and we will obtain th equal to pds plus vdp so let me write it clearly that th equal to tds plus vdp so let us put a box around this equation also and then what are the independent variables of enthalpy what are the independent variables of enthalpy this is entropy and pressure so we can obtain two thermodynamic variables from this equation one is the temperature which is del h with respect to entropy which is one of the independent variables and this is evaluated this equation is evaluated at constant pressure and we can also obtain the volume of the system as del h del p evaluated at constant entropy so by now you have guessed the trick here that is from each differential form of one that is from each differential form of one thermodynamic potential we'll get two independent quantities and if we take the derivative of that thermodynamic potential with respect to one of the independent variables we'll get another thermodynamic variable so for example in the case of enthalpy the entropy is one of the independent variables 
and if we take the derivative of enthalpy with respect to entropy at constant pressure we will obtain the temperature of the system so let me write it here that entropy and pressure are independent variables okay so we have completed looking at internal energy helmut free energy and enthalpy and we will look at the last thermodynamic potential which is the gibbs free energy So the Gibbs free energy is denoted by G and this is given by the equation H minus T s. It means this can be written as U plus V V minus T s. Okay. So like the other cases here also we will first look into the differential form of Gibbs free energy which can be obtained as dg equal to du plus t pv minus dts and this will be equal to du plus pdv plus vdp minus TDS plus SGT and again if we put the form of DU equal to TDS minus PDV then we will obtain that DG is equal to TDS minus PDV plus PDV plus PDP minus TDS minus SGT sorry this will be minus here. and here the TDS will cancel out and also one PDV terms will cancel out which will give us a final equation that DG is equal to PDP minus SCT. So let me write clearly that DG is equal to VDP minus STT. So here pressure P and temperature T are the independent variables and if we take the derivative of Gibbs free energy with respect to pressure at constant temperature we will obtain the volume of the system and similarly taking the derivative of Gibbs free energy with respect to the temperature at constant pressure will give us negative of the entropy. So let me put a box around this formulas. Okay. So till now in this video we have looked into four thermodynamic potentials which are internal energy, Helmholtz free energy, enthalpy and Gibbs free energy and we have looked into how to obtain that differential form of those thermodynamic potentials and what thermodynamic quantities can be calculated from the differential form of those potentials. So now as you can already see that uh, this is a very tedious process not very tedious but this is a very lengthy process. So either you have to remember all these forms or you have to do them by hand which is not a very good thing to 
to during a competitive exam so now i want to share a mnemonic which will i will share a mnemonic which will help you to remember or memorize formulas okay so before we do that let me summarize the result here so we have internal energy u which has a differential form of u equal to tds minus pdv second we had free energy of helmut free energy given by h equal to u minus ds which has a differential form of pf equal to minus PDV minus SDT that is enthalpy H given by you made a mistake here this will be if and enthalpy is given by u plus pv and the differential form is dh equal to pds plus vdp and last we have gibbs Free energy given by U plus PV minus TS, which has a differential form of DG equal to VDP minus SDT. Okay, so now let us do the mnemonic. And it goes like this. Good. Physicist. Have. studied under very fine teachers okay so this is just a statement nothing to conclude from this statement this is just to remember these equations in an easier way so how to retrieve these equations from this mnemonic we can do it like this so start from the 
bottom right corner and write the first letter of this statement of for the first letter of each word of the statement so would physicists have studied under very fine teachers and let me circle the terms representing thermodynamic potentials and to write the differential form of these potentials we write first dg this one and then we check which are the two thermodynamics variables that are connected to this one so this is p and t this is just what we obtained that for gibbs free energy the pressure and temperature are the independent variables so here p and t are the independent variables and to write it here we can write tp and tt and the signs will be we can assume a coordinate system like this where this is the positive y direction by negative y direction positive x direction negative x direction so the p is towards the positive direction y in this case so this will have a positive term and the t is towards negative x a negative direction so this will have a negative term so that's how we obtain the signs if we look at this formula here we'll see that the signs are obtained correctly and to complete this equation we multiply a thermodynamic variable with these differential terms in such a way that the product has a unit of energy so this is pressure so to get a unit of energy we will multiply it with volume similarly this is temperature and to get a unit of energy multiply it with entropy so that's how retrieve differential forms of thermodynamic potentials via the mnemonic okay so let me very briefly write the steps here so first is use a thermodynamic potential the second step is to find the independent variables of that potential by looking at the connected arms in the diagram so we'll be looking at the connected arms like for g these two arms so the third step is to find the sign which is whether it will be positive or negative from assuming a coordinate system so if the connected arm is up or right words then this will be a positive term and if this is down or left 
then that will be a negative term so that's how we obtain the sign and finally multiply with thermodynamic variables to make the terms have a an unit of energy so p will go with v if there is dp term then we'll uh, multiply v if there is dp term then we we'll multiply v and similarly s will go with t so if there is ts term we will multiply it with t and if there is t term dt term we will multiply it with s so that's all for today's video i hope you have learned about thermodynamic potentials and how to work with them and i hope you have remembered this mnemonic and you will be easily able to find the differential equations of this thermodynamic potentials easily so let me quickly i have done it for gives free energy let me quickly do it for u f and h also then we'll end this video and next we'll learn about accelerations of thermodynamic variables okay so h will be equal to so this was the first one and h has s and p as independent variables and both are in the positive direction because it is up and right so we'll have plus ts plus dp and we multiply p and v so that is the h term then u du is we can easily obtain this from first law of thermodynamics but to justify the effectiveness of this mnemonic we can obtain it from here so u has entropy and volume as independent parameters and entropy is in positive direction and volume is in negative direction so du will have ts plus ts and minus dv and multiply t with ts and p with dv so that's how we obtain the internal energy differential form and last is the free energy which has volume and temperature both in the negative direction so we will have tf equal to minus dv and minus dt and with dv we will multiply p and with dt we will multiply s so that's how we obtain differential forms okay so this is the end of this video in the next video we will learn about maxwell relations okay so bye for today